Barbara is one of the free characters that everyone receives in Genshin Impact, and she's often a staple healer for many early and mid-game players. When it comes to challenging harder content, however, she's almost never seriously considered as a viable option outside of some niche Dendro teams. And I am certainly guilty of this myself. After giving her a fair shot and testing her with every single character that it made sense to test her with, I can say with confidence that Barbara is very underrated, and depending on what you're account looks like might actually be a great pick for your account. So let's talk about whether you should build Barbara and how to make the most out of her if you do. Welcome to Jello Impact, where we've built and tested every single character to help you decide who you want to wish for and build. Barbara is a four-star Hydro healer whose skill reduces stamina consumption, applies Hydro to yourself and your enemies, and heals the active character. Her burst is a full team heal with a very large energy cost, but this full team-wide healing is very helpful for stacking characters like Farina, while also being a great choice for Nilu and a few other teams here and there. Her normal attacks have decent scaling, which allows dedicated mains to use her in various damaging roles, but really her bread and butter is being a very good healer. Her skill, although normally only healing the active character, also imbues her normal attacks with a team-wide heal, further improving her healing prowess for the team that need it. She's actually a character that's fairly complete at Constellation Zero, with her constellations definitely helping her, giving her some extra energy, decreasing her skill cooldown, and giving a small hydro damage bonus to the active character, more healing, more energy, more healing, and a revive at C6, which you shouldn't be needing, but it can be nice if you make a big mistake and happen to die. All in all, she's a character that works perfectly fine at C0, but her constellations do make her more comfortable to play and easier to build. Her kit is pretty simple, so I think we'll delve into her pros and cons and other nuances with her teams. So for the teams, I want you to know that not only did I test Barbara on these teams, but I, I've also tested other relevant comparable characters, namely other on-field on healers, especially the likes of Kokomi and the likes of Dory. And I gotta say, I have really underrated how good on-field healers are with Farina. I think it's a truly untapped potential in the meta, and I don't think it's like all my fault or anything. I don't. I think I think a lot of people aren't talking about it because most people are obviously used to using DPSs on field. Like you're, it's not your first instinct to all of a sudden pull off, pull your Navia off the front lines or take out Raiden and you know put your Barbara on instead. Put your put your Chi Chi on instead. Obviously, I think I think Noelle has been talked about a lot and that's because she's primarily a damage dealer, but but she's also a healer. So people think, oh, well, she'll deal damage, she'll heal, et cetera, et cetera. But Barbara really, really surprised me. Like it honestly shocked me how good this team actually was. Um, and the reason why is because off-field damage dealers in Genshin Impact are extremely good. It's, it's, really, it's really unfairly balanced to be honest because Characters like Yalan, like Chiori in the right circumstance, like Yai, like Fischl, like Beidou, etc., like Shang Ling, these characters do almost as much damage as on-field characters, but from completely off-field. And so normally this is balanced around, well, most buffers really can only buff the on-field character. Like, I mean, maybe not most buffers, but a lot of buffers. Like, Bennett only buffs the on-field characters, the big one that I can think of. You know, even someone like Shen Yun, like, she only buffs the on-field plunging character. Characters like Farazan do benefit everyone, but it's not as not as relevant. But Farina really strongly buffs the whole team, so that allows you to run an on-field healer without actually losing out on damage because because you're running Barbara on field as your healer because you need to run a healer with Farina. That's just the reality. But running the on-field healer allows you to run the last slot instead of having it be a Charlotte or a Jean or something else that heals. You can run Kazuha, and as a result, not only is the team team's damage potential very, very high for a single target, but the team's AoE performance is extremely good as well. And Kazuo himself does good personal damage, and Farina does good personal damage, Yolan does great damage, and even Barbara, you know, obviously she's not doing great personal damage, but she's on field and healing and doing Ocean Heat Clam damage, and it's it's not bad, she's contributing. But the overall team is honestly one of the better teams. Like, it's one of the better teams in Genshin. I prefer Fischl for AoE, because the Electro Charges are just 
so so good like electro charge is back in a big way and i i i, I feel like i very very much underrated this play style i think that i overall i do prefer the official version to the yalan version and this is a great this is great because this team utilizes farina kazawa which everyone should be getting and then you have you know nahida for the second side or you have bennett for the second side so it still leaves you with a lot of resources for the second side and barbara and fischl are free characters and everyone should be getting farina kazawa like these are characters that free to plays everyone should be getting so this is i know it's, it uses two five stars but it is a free to play free to play friendly team because the five stars it uses are characters that everyone should be getting and it still leaves you with Nahida and Bennett for the second side Nahida or Bennett you can play Barbara in a hyper bloom team um, but I feel like her hydro applications just kind of eh so I would recommend running a second a second character like Yolan and in that situation it's like yeah you can you you really should run Ryan if you to actually make the most of the team but to be honest like Barbara is not really doing anything here like the team is self-sufficient with the other three slots so Barbara is just a foregone conclusion you can you know if you don't have another hydro you can definitely use Barbara you know and do something like this and it, it does work like I did 36 star um the second side of the abyss with this like of course it works and yes you can replace Nahida with Dendro Traveler and you know blah 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 it's just not something I'd recommend I just highly recommend her with Farina it feels way way better um it's a really really good team a bunch of people have also talked about using Using Barbara with Novelette because Barbara has seemingly some synergy. Her Constellation 2 gives a 15% Hydro damage bonus, and by running her with Novelette, you obviously get the Hydro Resonance. The problem for me is that by not using, by using a Hydro with Novelette, you're losing, what's this, 35% damage bonus. So you're, yes, you are slightly compensating for the loss of 35 damage bonus with a 15% Hydro damage bonus bonus but it's not it's not it's not worth um overusing a different healer like charlotte or something like that so I don't strictly recommend Barbara with Novella. It can work, but I don't I don't particularly recommend it. Um, you can also do Barbara Plunge. I tried it, I didn't love it. I mean, it does it does work. If you want your Barbara to do damage damage and not be a healer, you can use Barbara Plunge, go for it. But I personally just don't, I personally don't like it very much. You can use either Kazuha or Shangling here. I would say if you have, like this heavily scales off of how good your Shanyun is. Like if your Shanyun's really well built and, and she maybe has her weapon, Weapon or her C2 then this team can really really pop off but as it is like Barbara she can vape right that's the big thing she can vape with her plunges really easily but I still I still don't love it I like the Farina healer stuff better um, and then you can obviously use Nilu and Nilu is really 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 good Barbara is one of the best units she's barely a downgrade to other units you she can I'll, I'll, I'll talk about the comparisons versus Kokomi and stuff in in the next section but Barbara is a really really great choice and this is also a very very free to play friendly team um nahida is a character again that everyone should be getting and kale you get for free and barbara you get for free and you know this is obviously if you want to play a new team you'll have to get nilu obviously but this team is really really good and this team leaves your farina for the second side so barbara kind of has two different teams that work with two different completely types of cores and this is as much as i could ask from a free to play character like and and i think the best part is she doesn't feel like a cope character uh she does feel very cope in freeze but she does not feel cope in farina or with nilu i should have said while we we're on the nilu team you don't have to use kale here um you can use the funny kirara one where you walk around with kirara um as barbara's skill goes off you can use baiju for some double healing although baiju's dendro application is a bit a bit low so i'm not the biggest fan you can use dendro mc for some more consistent stuff um, but i really do i really do prefer kale the most uh, you can also use vape Barbara where you vape your charge attacks and it's basically like really scuffed national and it can be kind of cool if you just really want to see big charge attack damage because Barbara has pretty good charge attack multipliers but in general like it's something you can do but it's not nearly as good as using her in her, her intended healing role but it, it is something that you can do I just think it's a bit it's a bit more scuffed 
So should you actually build Barbara? Is she worth it? Let's talk about her versus Kokomi. Because I did, I built up my Kokomi and I actually built up her normal attacks and burst and levels and stuff like that so that I could properly compare Barbara to Kokomi because I didn't want to give, you know, a half-assed review. And if I'm being completely honest, for both for both Nilu teams and for Farina teams, I felt like Kokomi was only a slight upgrade. I feel like Barbara was like 90% as good. I think you can absolutely use Barbara. And if I personally was going to allocate my wishes in terms of value, the only team that I would pull Kokomi for would be a freeze team with Ayaka. And Ayaka freeze has felt worse and worse and worse with every abyss. I still think she's good and she brute forces her way because she does good damage um, if you invest into her. But her team is very expensive and with Farina teams being very cheap and very strong, I would prefer to invest in a Farina team versus an Ayaka team because both teams need Kazuha and like this. I would rather play Barbara, Farina, official Kazuha in any AoE content than Ayaka because it's just so much more versatile. Um, except for obviously hydro immune content, but it still does better than than uh, than cryo immune because freeze teams only deal cryo damage, whereas this at least does some electro charge damage. The but I, I will say like to the Kokomi lovers out there, Kokomi is an upgrade. Kokomi has advantages in the heals being better, the damage being better. The heals really actually I, I couldn't say the heals be better. Barbara's heals are incredibly good, so the heals aren't really better. But the but the damage is better. Kokomi just does more damage, and her hydro application is like a little wider. And her you know her charge attacks are like they're they've got a special animation. And they stagger the opponent. So Kokomi definitely is like a quality of life, and maybe like a ten percent. It feels to me like a ten percent damage increase at best. Maybe it's closer to five for the whole team because really obviously it's the rest of the team that's doing the damage but Kokomi is very comfortable here so you know if you have Kokomi if you like Kokomi like there's no problem it's a very like Kokomi is an excellent choice here but because Barbara is free that's a whole five star that you don't have to wish for that you can just use your Barbara and both of them um, apply hydro to yourself both of them apply wet so you can't even say you know for care for enemies that vaporize you with a pyro attack or freeze you with a crowd attack you know neither one is better than the other because especially if you don't have the likes of Jean as a healer for your Farina but even then it's kind of hard to build a Farina team with Kazuha like you can do Charlotte for sure but if Freeze isn't very useful it's nicer to have a team like this and you know one might say well oh well this is a huge downgrade from you know someone like Novalette on a electro charge team and you'd be right but the team is so comfortable and the damage is still so high that it just doesn't matter. Like the amount of, of damage that the Barber team does, it's like, and it, it just it does it so effortlessly and so easily. If you have Farina Kazo official and you're lacking on healers to put the team to put teams on, or you want a comfy team, I would recommend this. I don't think it's like a top meta team, obviously, but I also think that there's really something to, there is a pro to Barbara o over Kokomi is that Kokomi kind of wants to stay on field once you use her burst but Barbara can just switch out whenever and you can use more Kazuha skills so that's that's kind of a pro and that's the same versus Novalet you get more Kazuha skills it's it can be a lot more of a quick swap team you don't have to feel attached to you to keeping your Barbara on field but you do get to use her on field and for Nilu um Barbara's hydro application is just good her charge attacks her skill it can it follows you around so you just hug the enemy and the blooms do lots but she has lots of AoE healing or yeah, AoE healing, healing your full team. Um, I've liked Nilu a little bit less these days, and it was what I always said was the biggest con with, with Nilu was if they started putting more Dendro immune or Cryo shields in the abyss, and they have. They have done this more and more. Like two, like one Dendro Spectre in the entire floor can completely halt your run if you're using a traditional Nilu team that doesn't use, you know, Yalan or Singcho or Farina. And that just feels bad. So, you know, I don't like Nilu as much as I once did I used to think it was like an S tier team um, and that's because my I, I I was valuing low investment a bit more and now 
now I think it's just a solid A tier, like very good team, but I still think it's very good, but it's not like S tier broken, like the way I used to think it was, and mostly because of the counters that can be done. But overall, like I like this team a lot and I think Barbara contributes to these. I wouldn't say that you should just build Barbara, like everyone should build Barbara. There's a pretty decent chance that you've already got a lot of Farina teams and you already have, you know, that play style set in stone. So there's no reason to build your Barbara. But if, you know, if this team uses unit if, if if you're struggling to survive or you're struggling to clear or whatever this is a great team and obviously you don't have to use official you can use yai here you can use beto here um although beto needs an absolute ton of er here but still it, it still can work um where would i put her i think i put her pretty low on the tier list and i would definitely move her up uh, i still wouldn't put her in like the top two tiers but probably in the next one down so i would like obviously there's the tier with farina and then there's the tier with official you know those are the kind of the two top tiers Farina, Kazuha, Nahida, etc. And then the good, the really good characters, you know, Fischl, Raiden, Navia, etc. I wouldn't put Barbara in those two tiers, but I probably would put her in the next one down because she is just that solid. And maybe one more down, but I, I don't know. I think she's really, really good. I think that, and I think that a lot of people will appreciate the comfort of using a team like this. Like Barbara has a ton of HP because you build HP on her. Um, speaking of which, let's talk about her build guide. Don't need to level 90 her if you're not playing her in Nilu team, but if you are playing her on a Nilu team, you absolutely have to level 90 her as she will be doing all the damage on your Nilu team. She'll be the one procking those blooms from Nilu, so you definitely want to do that. Um, for talents, um, you can level you only need to level her normals if you're doing plunge otherwise you can just focus on the skill and burst and you don't have to level them all that high to get some really good healing i had enough to heal easily overheal through capellia um with these talent levels but if i was going to play her I've, since i am going to play her on nilu more consistently uh, when nilu gets better i will be farming her up i'm probably going to land around i'm going to do her normals to do more plunge stuff later on so I'll probably go eight, seven, seven, something like that is what I'm gonna land on. But if you want more healing, then you level up her, her more, and she, you know, you can get more bubbles and more clam damage. So maybe eight, eight, eight is a good is a good place to go. Uh, for weapons, the general choice is gonna be prototype amber. You can use this whether it's in Nilu or in even in Nilu, in uh, sorry, whether it's Farina or even in Nilu teams. Often Nilu, you will want to go with sacrificial fragments because of the EM and resetting setting the skill cooldown can be nice to make sure you always have permanent uptime but yeah sacrificial fragments or prototype amber for nilu otherwise just prototype amber obviously if you have baiju's weapon you can use that if you have kokomi's weapon you can use that both of those are going to be even better and if you are using vape barbara or plunge barbara you know things like the wid sith skyward atlas not really kagura's um cash flow tome of the eternal flow can be okay i'd say wit wid sith is like your general general best because she really uses the damage bonus the elemental mastery or the attack like she can use all three not as much the attack but that can get you some really nice vapes so that's probably your best for either plunge or or for the charge attack vape but both of them you know obviously they're things that work right they're things that just like any shanyan team works and Barbara does have good multipliers for this stuff. But if we're talking about utilizing the character um, and their actual kit, then Farina or Nilu are actually using Barbara's kit. Whereas the plunge is, you know, it's it's a Shen Yun team. It's not a Barbara team, but you can still definitely do it. And then for artifacts, the Ocean Hued Clam is your general one that you want to go for, especially when you're healing. You can go Gilded or Flowers for Nilu, and it's sort of a sliding scale. Like you can go as low as, you know, using sacrificial fragments and then using one elemental mastery off piece and using a four piece ocean hue clam if you want the extra healing to have more survivability. Um, if you have the key, that will also make things easier. Or if you run Kale on Elegy for the end, that will also allow you to run more healing. Or if you want to go, you know, have your butt clenched to the seat and be scared of dying because you're not healing all that much, you can go four piece flowers and just go all EM and your HP will go super low. So it's kind of up to you. It's like a sliding scale of what you're comfortable with. I personally just really enjoyed this build where I only had 430 elemental mastery, um, but I did use Kale on Elegy and that increased elemental mastery for Barbara by another 100. So we're looking at 530. Then she's also on field in Nahida's circle and Nahida's buffing elemental mastery by like another 
well, like another 200. So, you know, 530 to 730. You know, we're getting close to that 1000 EM, which is sort of like the soft cap of how much. So maybe you switch one more, one more piece to EM. And then you're really, really close to the to the 1000 EM. You're like at 900-ish. Plus, it's really easy to find EM stats on your other pieces because you're not really looking for anything other than ER, HP. And my, my pieces are extremely unoptimized. Like, they don't have anything. The other thing you can do is if is you can run Fav. So I forgot to talk about Fav. But unlike Barbara, who can't crit, uh, or unlike Kokomi, who can't crit, Barbara can run Fav on those free teams. And so if you're running, you know, Yalan or characters that need their burst more, then using Fav is a good way to reduce that energy cost. And honestly, this probably would have been good because then I could have much more easily, well, I could run Farina on a better weapon and I could have ran Yalan on another weapon another weapon so that's something you can easily do and it's a very good idea to reduce that energy cost and then you don't have to worry about er subs on your barbara so man i i'm like i'm i'm a, I'm a, I'm a barbara believer let me know if you're a barbara believer but yeah if you're going for healing you're gonna want to go for hp um hp substats er substats em for nilu teams and then if you're doing damage barbara you know if you're using farina marcia say hunter if you're not using farina two piece two piece you can use gilded dreams if you're doing you know charge attack barbara you know you're probably using wander wanderer's troop because you're a catalyst user increases the em increases charge attack but gilded dreams is gonna work well you know and then two piece two piece a two piece hydro two piece attack two piece em those are gonna be fine um but i i personally i personally like to focus on the characters intended play style or like to bring out the strengths of their kit if that's possible and because she works so well with farina because she works so well with nilu those strengths of her kit are able to be brought out so i prefer to go with that but there are some very impressive charge attack and plunge barbara showcases that you can check out they're all over youtube so i recommend you go check those out i wanted to showcase barbara with her strengths and accentuating her strengths because if I'm going to call Barbara good, I want it to be for the, the kit that she actually brings, not the, just that she can be an elemental plunger in a Shenyun. For future prospects, I definitely think that there's possibilities for, you know, off-field pyro character that she can apply with along with Farina that she can play a Hydro to Vape. What else could they do? I'm not sure just other off-field characters that synergize with Farina. I do think that over time, as we get more healers, she also has the potential to go down in value. So that's always a possibility because naturally, you know, yes, you would, although running an on-field healer is completely fine, you would prefer the on-fielder to be some actual DPS characters. So the more team-wide off-field healers we have, the less value characters like Barbara will bring. But I think the teams are just so strong. Like they're so much better at a baseline than so many other teams in the game that she just starts with such a high floor, both Farina and Nilu, that you can't really go wrong if you um, if you want to build Barbara up for one of those teams. And then finally for Overworld, I'd say she's decent. I mean, she's a healer. Um, you know, Ocean Hue Clam does some pretty good damage for the Overworld and she you can run this team, you can run her with Yulon for the Overworld. Um, but she does apply the wet status to you, which, um, which is like a pain in the butt because it's easy to get frozen. Other than that, she's pretty good Overworld character. And, you that cooking passive pretty good let me know your thoughts on barbara if this changed your mind if you're gonna build her i was honestly surprised at how strong the teams were i i was i was really shocked um i was really shocked how how much better it was than i thought so let me know what you think take care bye for now